Agora eu vou conversar com Chad Mulave, ele é gerente global da linha de estabilidade e running performance da ASICS. Yeah, I think I would kind of answer that question a little bit in two mm -hmm. different ways. Right. Um, the DS Racer was like a traditionally posted mm -hmm. racing flat, those lower profile. And now with many of the more modern racing shoes, we're using carbon plates, okay. which in effect, the medial post was designed to provide more torsional rigidity and reduce the rate that the foot was able to collapse. And in many ways, the carbon plate in some of these shoes is, is have, in a sense, kind of um, replacing that mechanism. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it is providing more structure than just a, a single slab of foam was in the past. Yeah. There's been a lot of advancements, I would say, in terms of how we can construct footwear. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you were to look back a couple of years ago, the traditional mechanism of providing support was an external heel counter, maybe a, a, a truss stick or a, a stiffer density of foam. Um, now we're able to accomplish with, you know, geometry even by widening the base net platform, right. having an increased cupping height. The, the foot's effectively stabilized, but in a way that's less intrusive. Um, and it's maybe a little bit more adaptive even. And, and that's kind of the underlying philosophy of how we approach the new Kano 30 and also the, the right. new GT2000 this past year. Yeah, so with the new Citri, that shoe historically was a, a different upper on the DS Trainer mm -hmm. midsole, which was, a, to your Sorry. point, uh, yeah. posted. Um, I actually worked on the on the new Citri 13. Um, and looking at kind of the marketplace and what consumers were running in for the triathlon, there was a, a shift to looking for a lighter weight, a little bit more protective, softer um, underfoot. And so we wanted to, you know, utilize something that had a little bit of a rocker to it. It was lightweight um, and a little bit more cushioned uh, for this individual after the, you know, the bike and the um, and the swim. And so uh, I think what you're seeing is just kind of some of these shifts are, are kind of permeating not only like pinnacle uh, racing product, but also how we construct solutions for, right. uh, you know, for daily training as well now. We're actively exploring that. Um, I, I can't tell you when and, and how, okay. but um, I think a lot of consumers really responded quite well to that kind of experiential cushioning where it's soft, it's bouncy, it's energetic. Um, but there's a larger group of individuals who need a little bit more support. And so we didn't want to alienate that, that runner as well. And okay. So um, maybe next year I can tell you a little bit more about that. But <laughs> Perfect. Uh, well, first of all, I'm flattered. I worked on version 30. Uh, <laughs> it was, it took a lot of work to get it to where it is. Um, you know, we, we wanted to kind of reconceptualize how we delivered max cushion, but also max okay. protection or max, uh, max support. Um, having already finished version 31 that you'll see the back half of 24, I think it was, we heard from some consumers, they wanted a little bit more breathability okay. in the upper. We heard uh, that there was a desire for improved traction, especially in some of the climates that experience more rain, like the Northwest. Uh -huh. Um, and so you'll see kind of those two improvements come to life. Um, you know, I'm currently working on version 32. Um, okay. You know, we're, we're obviously in the future right now. Um, and that, that's, it's, it's exciting, frankly, because we delivered a really unique and kind of, you know, innovative approach to the Cano. And now how do we kind of move that even further? And so um, I can't tell you what that looks like quite yet, but uh, we're, we're definitely not looking to rest on our laurels for version 30. So right now in markets, the version 12 and okay. then version 13 will be the back app. So the Cano 30 has what we call 40 guidance system, okay. uh, the fourth dimension referencing time. So we're controlling kind of impact or forces in the X, Y, and Z plane. Mm -hmm. Obviously when you run, it's not a single dimension of force. Um, and then for the uh, 2000s, it's the 3D guidance system. Uh, very similar, just the Cano is going to have on the medial side, a, a more energetic kind of uh, different material or, or foam that's designed to help resupinate the foot at mid stance. Thank you.